listening, have you? Yes, I have. I loved it when you knew Las Vegas. Suitably biblical ending to the place, don't you think? You gonna call him up and tell him what Joshua's doing? Now, children, come on over here. I'm gonna tell you a bedtime story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, there lived a magnificent race of animals. Dominated the world through age after age. They ran and they swam and they fought and they flew. Until suddenly, quite recently, they disappeared. Nature just gave up and started again. We weren't even apes then. We were just these smart little rodents hiding in the rocks. And when we go, nature will start again. With the bees, probably. Nature knows when to give up, David. I'm not giving up. If Joshua tricks them into launching an attack, it'll be your fault. My fault? The whole point was to find a way to practice nuclear war without destroying ourselves. To get the computers to learn from mistakes we couldn't afford to make. Except that I never could get Joshua to learn the most important lesson. What's that? Futility. That there's a time when you should just give up. What kind of a lesson is that? Did you ever play tic-tac-toe? Yeah, of course. But you don't anymore. No. Why? Because it's a boring game. It's always a tie. Exactly. There's no way to win. The game itself is pointless. But back at the war room, they believe you can win a nuclear war. But there can be acceptable losses. So you gave up? Decided to play dead? For security reasons, they graciously arranged my death. Did you know that no land animal with a body weight of over 50 pounds survived that age? Extinction is part of the natural order. Well, shit! If we're extinguished, there's nothing natural about that. It's just stupid. Oh, it's all right. I've planned ahead. We're just three miles from a primary target. A millisecond of brilliant light, and we're vaporized. Much more fortunate than the millions who wander sightless through the smoldering aftermath. We'll be spared the horror of survival. I'm only 17 years old. I'm not ready to die yet. You won't make a simple phone call? If the real Joshua was still alive, your Joshua, you'd do it, wouldn't you? Look, we might gain a few years, perhaps time enough for you to have a son and watch him die. But humanity, planning its own destruction, that a phone call won't stop. This is unreal. You don't care about death because you're already dead. I know a lot about you. I know you weren't always like this. What was the last thing you cared about? You've missed the last ferry. You're welcome to stay. You want to sleep on the floor? Good night. Let's get out of here. Come on, we'll find a boat. It's gotta be a boat. 